I thought I'd do a video on making electuaries because um, I've got some kids with a cold or a cough and uh, I'm going to use some mullen to help them clear up that congestion and electuaries are a really good way to get kids to take herbal remedies or maybe if your spouse doesn't want to take herbal remedies, electuaries are good because they're yummy and they involve peanut butter. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I make them. Electuaries are basically peanut butter and herbs or it could be honey and herbs. It's something good tasting in the herbs. And I like to use about equal amounts usually. That's not a rule, it's just a convenience. You, you can hear my poor snotty nosed boy trying to breathe holding the camera. So I'm going to use half a cup of mullen. Whoa! Now some people, um, the mullen hairs will bother them and some they don't. They don't seem to bother us so if, if you're bothered, if, if you know that mullen hairs irritate you, you probably shouldn't make an electuary out of a mullen, but I'm going to. Depending on the taste of the herb, you might want more peanut butter. Something like mullen, this will be fine. Um, something, if you try to use a really bitter something, you might want more peanut butter. Comfrey seems to, comfrey tastes pretty good. Some people get freaked out about eating comfrey, uh, and I'm, I'm not really worried about it. If I was a pregnant lady, or if I had a compromised liver, I might be more cautious about that, but I'm not worried about it for me. I may need another spoon to help stir this up. So you put them together and you just you just mix them up and it's going to look kind of like a mossy a mossy rock when we're done. Okay. That's nice and mixed up and that's fine, but let's add a secret weapon, honey. Oh, that's that's a good amount of honey. Good. <laughs> well, that'll be extra delicious. And um I don't mind using honey as a sweetener, raw honey, because it also is very healthy and has antimicrobial properties. If I was worried about cytokine storms, which are a sort of a immune system um, over activation in the lungs, then honey would not be the best uh, because it can encourage cytokine storms, but this is just sort of a, a cold, I think. So I'm not worried about that. Okay. Now we're going to roll these into balls. I'm going to wet my hands just a little bit. And just make a little ball. Now how much do you want to make? It depends. How big of a dose do you want? Remember this is half peanut butter, so um, if you wanted if you wanted to take a teaspoon per dose, you would make it about two speed two teaspoons big. I'm I'm not really worried about the exacts. So I'm just gonna make them, you know, a nice, uh, a nice bite size. And then, okay, rolling it in sugar is the other secret weapon for getting uncooperative kids and spouses to eat them. It does not make them any healthier. It might detract slightly from the health benefits, but it sure does help getting people to eat it. So we roll it in the sugar, and then normally I would set these on wax paper but I can't find the wax paper, so I'll set it on a, a plastic baggie and we'll, we'll come back to this. I'm gonna roll these up and then I'll show you the next step. They look beautiful, don't they? And they taste wonderful too. We've already cheated and, and had one each. I'm gonna put these in the freezer to firm them up and then I'll put them in a little uh, uh, plastic container and we'll keep them in the freezer and just snack on one every so often. And uh, you could use other sweeteners um, like, uh, oh, uh, oh, I'm blanking out here. You could use agave syrup or whatever sweetener you like. You could use elderberry syrup. That's another really good one. You could use an artificial sweetener, but I am really skeptical and hesitant about using those. Anyway, that's how you do it. I'm going to put these in the freezer, and then I will show you the uh, finished product. And here they are, the finished product. Ready to go back in the freezer or be sampled.